Welcome to Alter Engineering Training and Support. I am Apoorva Pat. Welcome you all in Formula Student India online training session. So the agenda of this training series is uh, day one we have already covered where I have discussed about the theory of FEM and CAE, then what is geometry editing and meshing, plus some uh, static analysis on the roll cage uh, meshed using one D meshing. Then today that is on day two we will see two D geometry editing and meshing of the roll cage. Static analysis uh, on the 2D mesh roll cage surfaces. Then on day 3 we will see a dynamic crash analysis and on day 4 we will see the geometry editing of and meshing of Naka. So now we will start with opening of hypermesh. So we will open the hypermesh, select the user profile as OptiStruct and click on OK to load the user profile. Then uh, today I will show you how to import an IGS file. So to import the IGS file, click on import icon where my mouse pointer is. Select import geometry. Browse the file. Select the IGS file and click on import. So once you click import, the model will get imported. You can see here, this is my 2D surface model. If I click on this icon that is shaded geometry and surface edges, you can able to see these surfaces. If you click on the line, so you can able to see the edges. So before going further, make sure you are able to see something like this. So this is, these two lines are for inner, these two lines are for outer. So now we will proceed uh, for geometry editing and meshing of this roll cage structure. So I'll go to model. First I will save this file. So here as you can see I have n number of components. So working on these many components it's really tough. So what I will do is I will create a new component where I will work. So I will click on component, click create, enter the name as roll cage. Define a color to it without any property I will just say create. So I have a new component at the bottom you can see here. Now I will move all these surfaces to this new component. So to so to move the components, go to Tools, Organize. In select the radio button as Collector. Select the surfaces. Select surfaces all. Destination component to roll cage and click on move. So now all my surfaces are moved to the new component. Now I will delete the rest of the others. So you can see I have a surface geometry which is in a single component. So before going further as I am doing 2D meshing on it, so I want to create a mid surface. So to create a mid surface, I will go to geometry, mid surface. Select the surfaces and click on extract. So this will take some time to extract the mid surface. So now as you can see my mid surface has been generated. So if I turn off my actual geometry, you can see my mid surface geometry. There are some areas where it hasn't generated the mid surface. You can see here. So we will manually generate the mid surface for those areas. So I'll go to mask, select Dropbox surfaces, save mask and reverse. Go to surface pair, select the top and bottom and say generate. Similarly, select the top and bottom generate. So you can manually generate the mid surface in the similar way. So once my mid surface has been generated, as you can see here, 
now i'll go to mask i will start joining the pipes so i will show you one of uh, the joint how to make it the rest you can do in a similar way so mask any one joint then go to line mode here you can see there is only one circle Okay, so now I will uh, go with this as this one is proper. So I will select the surface, say mask and reverse. So click on mask, these delete the extra one which has been created. Again go to mask, select this, mask, reverse. Make it in a line mode. Go to geometry, quick edit. In quick edit, select split surface line. In lines, toggle it to lines. So select this node to this line. Say unsplit this to this similarly this end and we'll split it here also this to this or else we can directly delete this press F11 from the keyboard to enter to that quick edit panel press shift F9 from the keyboard to enter to surface edit panel now we will extend these two surfaces and say extend this and this say extend as you can see it is not properly extended so I will try to edit the geometry before editing it further so I'll use the replace point command from this to this and I will try to unsplit one of the edge so this is done now again I will go to F shift F9 select the radio button trim with surface plane select this surface select this surface and say trim so this is now trimmed so I will delete the extended geometry, go to mask, select these surfaces, say mask and delete the inner one. So now you can see here, this has been properly joined. So this, the same thing, I, we have to do it for the entire geometry. So this I have already done. So you can see here, I have already joined all the geometries here. All the pipes are properly joined. Now we will directly move to the meshing of this component. So I have created two different components that is primary and secondary. So I will directly go for the meshing. So first I will create the material. Let's assume the material is a steel. Define a color to it. Type as isotropic. Card image. Mat 1. Click on create edit. Enter the value of E new row. Click return. Again click return. Define a property. As we have two components. So we will have two properties. One is 
control cage primary select the type as 2d card image p shell material steel create edit enter the thickness let's assume my primary members have a thickness of 1.2 then roll cage secondary define a separate color to it type 2d card image p shell material steel click on create edit enter the thickness as 1.8 click return click return again go to up component and update the component with primary the primary properties and secondary with secondary properties so this has been done so my material properties has been done so i'll directly move to meshing so to do the meshing i'll go to 2d page auto mesh select the second radio button that is qi optimize select the surfaces enter the element size say 5 element type to mixed edit the criteria so minimum element size i want 2 maximum let's say 7 or minimum let's say 3 So I did the criteria to minimum element size three, maximum five. Aspect ratio to we can say ten. Warp edge angle fifteen is okay. Maximum interior angle one forty is good. Minimum interior angle for quad we can take twenty. Maximum interior angle for trial we can take up to one thirty five. Minimum J fifteen. Skew we don't require Jacobian. We can take up to point two. Percentage of trials we don't require. Say apply and okay. And click on the flow align and size. Click on mesh. So this will take some time to generate the quality elements. So we'll wait for some time till it generates the quality elements. Okay, so you can see now my mesh has been generated, and it is distributed to both the components. We will see the thickness assigned to it or not. So we'll see the 3D representation. Turn off the geometry. Go to mask. Select elements, and say mask. reverse so you can see my thickness has been assigned properly if i turn off this so half way go up half way down so my thickness of the elements is properly assigned now i will quickly go for the quality elements criteria so i will click on f10 select warp page say 10 degrees my warp page is coming as uh 22 so this will be okay there is no much problem on it aspect ratio is good jacobian if i take 0.2 it's fine minimum angle 10 is okay maximum angle 160 and 36 for minimum angle quad maximum angle 140 is fine so my qualities are uh, quite okay Now I will start creating the load collectors. So I'll click return from this. Go to load collector icon. Enter the load collector name as front impact force. Today I will show you only one case that is front impact. Uh, you have to do the same thing which I have shown you earlier uh, for he in here also. Exactly the process is same. The creating load collectors and load step. so i will show you here only the one process that is front impact so i'll click on create and front impact spc define a color say create then go to analysis as you can see my bold is spc so i will first create the constraints on this model so 
I will select the suspension mounting points. Check the box of degrees of freedom 3 that is translation along Z axis. Then at the rear, I will check all the degrees of freedom and say create. Now we'll make front forces as the current co load collector. Go to analysis forces. Select the complete frontal portion where my impact will happen. So there are two, three cases. One is you can select the entire portion like this where you want to apply the force or only the top bar or the center bar. So I'll select this, say save. So let's assume I am applying a force of 12,000 Newton divided by 5644. That is the total number of nodes. And I will apply a force in negative x direction. Say create. Now I will go to defining the load step. So I will click on load step. Say front impact. Check the box in front of SPC and force. Say create. Go to analysis. Uh, first save the file. Then I'll go to analysis of the struct, export option to all, run option to analysis, memory option default and click on opti struct. So this will start the solver. Again, I am repeating the same thing that uh, in the last day, what I have shown you uh, to apply a different load collector, the same process you have to follow here also. So that's why I'm only considering the one load case, the same way you can do it for the rest. So it will take some time to solve. So as you can see, my analysis has been completed. So I will click on results. If you find any error here, take a screenshot of this error and send us toward us along with the HM file. So go to contour, say displacement. So my maximum displacement for front impact is coming as 2.59. Then go to contour stresses, simple apply. So my maximum stresses is coming as 436. My roll case structure is extremely very weak and I have applied a huge amount of force. So we see the animation. Go to deform, increase the scale or some more wireframe. So this is the animation of the deformation because of the front impact. In the similar way you can create side, rear, torsional bump and the rollover. Uh, thank you very much for attending this uh, session. If you have any queries, feel free to contact us at edu-support at india.aldia.com or you can contact me also. Thank you very much.